super mal. morning。藤先生どう大丈夫あ。あ、もしもしはい。、はいはい、大丈。夫ですじゃあ、行。こうかじゃん、もうそろそろはい。ちょっと待ってね。大丈夫だな。いいよ。。前回、えー、っと、ここの、こあれのです、ね何かで重なってても。いいよ、少し。うんあ、わかりま。した。はい。ちちょっと待ってくださいね。あ、前回がょっと待ってないと、あ、ここまでですね。ここうんの、はいはい。はい。ちょっと待ってください。えっと、前回が神秘的な妥協のところで終わっていて、はちいょっとそこからやっていきますはい。。で、その神秘的な妥協っていうのが期待される結果、えっと、神秘的な限界に対する患者と臨床医の相互の受け入れ、患者それぞれの状況における裁量の結果。ということで、えっと、この右側の画像を見ていただいたらわかると思うんですけど、やっぱりこの死肉の方が、ちょっとどうしても上がってたりするけど、一番右側の画像を見ていただいたら、あの、あの、唇とかで隠れるから、こういう点で妥協点を見つけていくっていうお話で、決定要因とすしては、インプラントの前入位置に関連する。隣接する構造と状況に関連する。これらのリスク、これらの要因は、心理リスク評価エラーに外接されている。で、治療計画のために設計されたのか。で、えっと、心理的な妥協の病院にの評価にも、そのエラーというのは役立つというのが、説明されてます。で、えっと、複数死の場合、どうしても骨吸収が起き,起きてしまうので、これは、それは誰がやっても絶対起きてしまうことなので、一番右のように、えっと、乳頭がどうしても、その普通にある骨より下がってしまうという、こういうものが神秘的な妥協というお話だというところまで、選手はしていますうん。はい。はい。で、今回が、えっと、今回ここの歯の喪失の原因というところから、えっと、今先生とやったところまで説う明んしていくと、歯の喪失の原因というのが、歯周病、外傷。うんこの二つが挙げられます。で、えっと、患者しゅ、えっと、その患者さん主導の結果になる場合、患者さんが、その、補鉄する前の死列をどう認識しているか。それともう一つが、メディアとか、あの、テレビとか、そういう芸能人とかによるメディア、あとそういうインターネットの情報などに基づく患者さんなりの理想があるので、やっぱどうしても、次のスライドでも話すんですけども、非現実的なものにうん。なってうん。アしンまデうア場ス合イがスか、な。うはん。うんい。なってしまう。どうしてもそういうメディアとかインターネットに基づく専門知識ではない。ものに基づいてしまうため、そういう非現実的なものになってしまうという、ことが患者主導の結果の場合あり得るとで。患者さんの期待としては、あのー、写真の方はどちらとも現実的なものにはなるんですけども、左が高い期待、右が低い期待となります。で、もしくは先ほどもちょっと言及したんですけども、それが現実的なのか非現実的なのかということになっています。で、患者さんと専門家の評価としては、やっぱり患者さんの意見に対する、その患者さんがどうしたいかということに対する敏感さというものは必要であり、そ,そして患者さん的にやっぱり懸念、を表明する前に改善の可能性を判断する。あの、専門医側が。で、えっと、ただその、臨床医的には、これでいいと思ってたとしても、患者さん的には、あの、ちょっとその、臨床医がとてもいいと思ってたとしても、患者さんとしてはちょっと違うという、そあの、まあ、ギャップが生じてしまうことがあります。そしてなんかそういう話し合いをした結果、あのー、その
医師側がいじらないでそのままにしておこうという決定が下される場合もあります。うんはい、で、えっと、まとめていくと、心理的な妥協は、臨床症例の特定の状況と制限を考えると、可能な限り最良の心理的な結果である。心理的なリスク評価は、心理的な課題を予測し、心理的な結果を分析するために使用できる。歯周病、外傷、または隣接する歯の欠損の起用歴はすべて、患者が心理的な課題につく要因となる。患者の考えや期待は現実的ではない、または達成可能な心理的な結果と一致しない場合があり得る。心理的な結果に対する患者の意見に敏感であることが重要である。以上となります。え問題とかあるのあ、まだまとめてないです。あ、本当。はい。一応、先生とやったのは、ここまでです。あ、問題ないのかなはい。その後はその後なんかない問題ないんだ。はい。ランキング専門店もある。あ、そうかそうか。わかりました。あ、でも、今日はなんか、日本の先生いないな。あ、そうですね。結構。うん、海外の先生かな。はい。うん。どう先生、今まとめてみて。結構、ね、勉強できたんですね。いや、そうですね。結構こういう、となんかあの、隣接子のインプラントで、痴漢乳頭が、あの、うん、やっぱ絶対に変化してしまうということとかが、うん、やっぱり、なんか一番驚きだったっていうか、あ、そ、そうなんだ、みたいな感じでした。まあ、リップラインの関係とかね。はい。うん。あれでも、じゃあちょっと、聞いてみたら、ドクターバンノッチ、do you, do you treat,、uh, the multiple is missing in アンテレマキシーラ。multiple? How, 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 I, how I treat? Very difficult. Ah, uh, I, I think、uh, the most difficult part is when you have、uh, the challenge for the, the statical and height for gingival height and papilla.、Yes. However, when I do、uh, a reconstructive、uh, procedures on the region, anterior region, I make in, in, in two moments. On the first moment, I gain volume. In the second moment, I used、uh, the Patrick Palacci、uh, technical for a papilla round、mm -hmm. to create a papilla. It's interesting、uh, because I saw、uh, this technique with Professor Palacci in, in Italy in 1996 on, on a table.、Uh, On a lunch table, he was describing for the first time on a piece of paper how to round the papilla and, and put in two uh, uh, wound healings and now to create papilla. But the most important thing s is how to gain microvascularity in this position when you have no bone. This is the, this is the more Uh, uh, difficult and challenge. Thank you, thank you very much. Yes. Dr. Zenifa, do you have a comment on Antel Maxilla, much better missing teeth? I prefer when, when it's adjacent teeth to do it like one implant for two crowns.、Yes. For me, it's like easy to handle, like. I place the implant a little deeper than so to make a papilla from both teeth. And since, it, since they were together, it's easy to handle papilla. papilla <coughs> also, I see now that ceramic implants、uh, allow us to, to preserve.、Uh, More papilla when you use two implants in anterior、mm, zone.、Yeah. Thank you, thank you.、Yeah. Dr. 
Dr. Lee, how about <coughs> multiple mm. missing teeth in antera maxilla? I have not done many cases, but um, I find that to achieve pink and white aesthetic, oh, yes. mm, it's very hard, especially the pink part. So it's either we compromise it by a longer tooth and mm. less pink, or there's black triangle. Mm. So um, yeah, so choosing the position and number of implants for multiple anterior missing cases is always a big challenge. And I agree with uh, Manach Manachi said that we have to do soft tissue grafting in order to cover the grayish of the implant. Yeah, but Camille said, do you use a lot of the cornea implant for anterior teeth? Uh, I I uh, use uh, one, two missing teeth is one implant and one mm. uh, uh, pontic. Yeah, yes, cantilever. Yes. cantilever. Yes. You, yes, but do you use the cornea implant instead of aluminum implant? Uh, and, um, normal implant. And normal implant. Mm -hmm. So yes. you won't get the grayish discolor for your the gum of the patient? Yes. Grayish color, gray color. A gray color. Ah, kuro iro. 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 Ah, uh, I use I use a uh, few times. Mm. Um, I think uh, the most uh, important situation, if you use zirconia or if you use normal titanium, is the correct position uh, for uh, the implant with the three three D position. This is. Any any kind of implant you can use. However, uh, we changing uh, paradigms from use of for uh, zirconia implants. So the most important uh, to say that zirconia uh, is better than uh, normal titanium. We must use uh, biomarkers, in my opinion, to compare. Uh, with old titanium implants. So it's a kind of mineral to uh, zirconia. So uh, we have uh, to understand these follow-ups and these biomarkers uh, for the next 10 years, uh, I think. Uh, not only the statical uh, advancement, but of the reaction of the Always is a uh, for anybody. It's uh, is a biocompatible. However, is a uh, for anybody reaction for all this kind of implants. It's it's my uh, point uh, of view. Mm. Uh, for me, which I see so far about ceramic implants, is like it make uh, the position is really challenge because you have to put like in the axis of the teeth, different from titanium implants in which you put like in, in the single. So you have more space in the vocal place to place um, even a graft tissue, uh, soft tissue graft, or maybe you have to put bone graft no? sometimes. As Dr. Marcelo said, I think um, implant placement is the ch is the key for both cases. However, uh, ceramic implants le may, may lead us to if they if the papilla or if the soft tissue like uh, disappear or is like a uh, thing, uh, it may appear like white. <laughs> so. In the other case, if the, if the titanium appear, so it's not, uh, it's, it's clear that the patient will notice. So for that, for that, I think uh, we should uh, analyze uh, 
clear the case if we have like soft tissue, if we have bone, and then analyze the position of the implants. So then we decide from both. It's interesting point uh, because uh, in the nineties, uh, for you are all young, uh, we have uh, 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 different kind of uh, implants. So we have a Nobel BioCare ex external hexagon with gold. So uh, on the platform and gold with uh, the pillars. So, in time, the contact with the, the gold, with uh, titanium, you have a corrosion process. So, this affected the gingival around the peri-implant. So, this is one point positive for the, uh, this is new implants. So, this less possibility of corrosion and not only titanium with titanium, micro pillars are only with uh, zirconia. So that's that seems to be a, a good point uh, for the future analysis. That's very interesting. Gold will be very expensive. Yuji Kami Urasen said the Kinzoku gold gold. Have you tried gold implant before? Kamiura <laughs> sensei. Oh, he can't hear. Kamiura <laughs> sensei. Oh. Eh. Okay. Kamiura sensei, can you hear me? I think he was searching a case. It's a kin impranto. Kin impranto. Yeah. Kin, oh, kin, ne, kin, kin impranto. It's a, it's, it's, it's a... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether he used it before. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, today there is no QA session because. Um, they have not prepared, so I think uh, he just make us talk and then he wants us to say bye-bye afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think he was searching a case for an implant to ah, share with us. You're right, you're <laughs> he was, right. He was like, <clears throat> when, right. when you met Palachi Sensei, that was yes. how many years ago? Uh, many years ago, 30 years. <laughs> it was in 1996. Mm. Uh, so <laughs> when when you find you're getting old, that you are, uh, I bought uh, the first edition of GBR from Professor, mm. let me see, Boozer, Dali. Oh, uh, yeah, Professor Boozer, yeah. That, uh, that. This is the first edition. Uh, I bought I bought this at the Congress in 1996. <laughs> oh, how old are you, Jennifer? Oh. 1996. How old? <laughs> and I have the second edition. Too. <laughs> <laughs> old but gold. <laughs> oh my god, that's true. It's oh yay! There you go. We got it. <laughs> Maybe you're showing gold in one. Yeah, <laughs> I. Uh, this is my ceramic implant case and <laughs> first case uh, in Primora and uh, second Primora one your ceramic implant placed and cantilever and soft sealing and and uh, different sessions. And uh, uh, this case is uh, 20, uh, 2016, uh, about uh, eight years ago. Uh, uh, this is ceramic implant and the cantilever. Mm. Mm. This is one, one, one piece. Yeah, is this one piece implant? 
เนี่ยอ่ p l a n t e d วางฟันที่เรือบ่า Ah yeah but there is no abutment right implant or abutment is sure จะไหนเดี๋ยวสักก This is like pure ceramic I think Ah yes I'm making plant pure ceramic Oh with abutment right Yeah Ah n e o then who 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 is like Dr v a n o c h i give me a <laughs> woman it was like two pieces Like oh. just it's interesting point. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, as you said, the the kind of difference of a neodent and strauma that is the the construction of implant uh, from neodent is from powder, 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 ceramic powder. So the uh, strauma implant, ceramic implant, is from a, a monoblock. So the resistance, uh, the resistance is, is is different. So you must be very careful when you do the final use uh, of the torque and and the newtons, and you must be very very careful to avoid a uh, broken implant. Uh, uh, next week I I will show you uh, about ceramic implant in a case and about ten cases uh, in Australia. Oh, tanoshimishiteimasu. Mm, see you next week. Okay. Oh, see you. Ah, next week. Okay. Ah, chat chat. Next week. Next week. Next week. Next week. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.